teaching background then, and is that the, the reason you got into schools? Yeah, I think it primarily was. It was I had a real affinity not only toward the kids but toward the ventriloquism and also combining messages because I was a teacher. I knew how to write the kind of stuff that they wanted to hear and see in schools. Uh, and that worked out well, but in the summertime I had to work as, as well doing shows because school was out. So uh, I was doing a, a, an audition, so to speak, for f festivals and fairs, and an agent came up to me and said, hey, how would you like to do some opening act work? I said, great, I you know, have nothing booked for the summer. He said, i got a brand new act I want you to meet and, and work for. He said, she's going to be out in Virginia, you go out there and start with her. Her name is Reba McIntyre. So I went out and did some shows with her, and that worked out well. So I said, I got another new guy. They each called me back, and, and uh, it's Garth Brooks. So you can work for him for a little bit. So I went over in the summer and worked for him. So I was doing that for eight or ten years, doing the fair circuit, opening for top country acts all over the, the country. And so I had my foot in the market, fair market and the adult market, but also had my foot in the, the kid show market. And the kid show market, there's just so many more opportunities date-wise. So I kind of hung with that and specialized in that area. Okay. Uh, did that Garth Brooks and Reba McIntyre, did they ever work out into anything? Or are they doing anything now? I, I don't know. I heard, I heard they do, they're doing bars or something. I haven't heard of <laughs> Yeah, definitely not your crowd. <laughs> no, no, no. They said, go out and do this kind of people, do this kind of shows. I said, no, my audience is usually in bed by 8 o'clock, so, you know, I can't do that. Well, then I'm your audience because I'm usually in bed by 8 o'clock, too. Oh, right, that's good. <laughs> so, um... Mark, uh, what were what have been some of the highlights of your career? What are some things that you've done that have just you know really stand stood out in your mind, other than the opening acts? Um, one of the things that uh, I've had two great honors bestowed upon me. One was being the International Ventriloquist of the Year in 1980, um, and that was given by my peers, and that was really outstanding. The next one was being um, um, Contributor of the Year at the Japanese Ventriloquist Association, JVA, in Tokyo. And they flew me to Tokyo. I lectured, performed, they brought kids in. They showed them how to work with kids and got a nice award that way. Those are two things. And uh, just being the executive director of the convention has been just outstanding. It's been one of the things I love to do, putting the conventions together, helping people grow. I know the education part. I know the teaching part. I know the performing part. So, And I've got great staff like you. And, and Ken Groves and, and others that have helped me, and my wife Jody, who's, who's our registration coordinator. So it's a nice team I've assembled. I, I, I hide my incompetency by wrapping good people around me. See, that's what happens. <laughs> 